Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about hashtag free Britney, Britney Spears generally, which is a topic that I have been nervous to discuss because I've mentioned this in a prior video, but Britney Spears was a very big part of my childhood. That's when I became a fan. And seeing everything she's been going through has been a strange experience, mainly because obviously I feel horrible for what she's gone through, but it's also like I remember seeing these things in the tabloids, you know, exploiting her for her mental health, exploiting her appearance, just like she's been treated horribly by the media. I think that's undeniable. And so having seen it happen and then looking back and realizing what actually was going on now that I'm an adult and can understand the implications has been rather painful. Obviously that does not make me the victim here at all, but it's just one of those topics that is particularly difficult for me to discuss. Before we get further into that topic though, I did want to thank today's sponsor, which is Etta Love. Etta Love is a jewelry brand that I've worked with for a while. They create beautiful standout pieces that are made for heavy metal hearts. Here I'm wearing Bewitched with this beautiful purple gem. I'm also wearing the Dainty Rosy Disposition as well as Royal Treatment. Etta Love is having a $500 gift card giveaway. The rules are simply to comment on the video and subscribe to the mailing list linked below. The winner will be contacted contacted by Etta Love within a week of this video's upload. On top of this, all those who subscribe to the mailing list will automatically receive a $25 gift card via email. I highly recommend this brand and remember to check the links in the description. Thank you Etta Love for sponsoring this video. Down below I'll be linking videos that cover all of the Free Britney movement and everything that happened with her, especially the deep dive videos that I think are excellent and really paint the picture properly because I'm not going to cover all of that here. I didn't want to talk about it broadly, mainly because this is going to be somewhat of a rant, but I got an email the other day and someone from the Free Britney movement emailed me and they showed me screenshots of Shallon Lester, who I've discussed before, image shaming Britney Spears and I know we see this relatively often, like especially women in magazines, like the shitty tabloid type magazines are always picked apart for gaining weight or losing weight or whatever. Basically any part of a woman's appearance is up for discussion, which in and of itself I find ridiculous and pointless apart from harmful, but that's something that I can't change unfortunately. Especially when I saw what she was saying about Britney it struck a nerve because Britney's entire life has been so consumed by the media taking everything and anything she does and turning it into something it's not or turning it into her being unhinged or whatever other belittling term they want to use. For that reason, I found it all the more disgusting because there is such an intense history there. So what am I talking about exactly? I'll show you the screenshots. To be clear, Shallon Lester and her comments are a jumping off point. This video is not centered on her opinion about Britney, but rather how pervasive it apparently is to just comment on people's appearance and draw conclusions that just, okay. So here she said, I remember my therapist saying that hair and body cleanliness was one way he assessed someone's mental health. When someone is mentally in chaos, hygiene is the first thing to go. Now, I agree with that. I think many people who have experienced depression or even anxiety as well as other mental health issues know that hygiene can be very complicated. Taking showers can feel impossible. That is true. What bothers me is the next part. Bro, she can't even take care of her extensions. Do you know how long you have to go without brushing your hair for your stennies to get like this? Like 10 plus days. Britney can take care of herself. And then there's an article, Britney Spears resurfaces for Malibu shopping spree. What is the point? I want to know what the point of any of this is. Because first of all, we all, I think, can address the fact that, especially this year with all that's been going on, a lot of people's mental health, including my own, have taken a massive, massive nosedive. When that happens, shaming people for not being at the top of their hygiene does nothing. Not only does it possibly hurt the person you're talking about if they happen to read what you said, but it's also shaming people that might have those problems but won't admit it or are ashamed to discuss it because there are people that react in this way, kind of just implying that the person is gross or incapable of being a human in a proper way. I remember there was this tweet. I can't remember exactly what it said. I think it was in reference to Prince Harry and Meghan 
And they were saying, you know, like, they won't necessarily see the tweet where you make fun of Megan for being suicidal, but your other friends who might have been or are suicidal will see that. And I feel kind of the same way here. Brittany probably won't see Shallon's stories on Instagram, but at the same time, it's like other people who might be struggling with that same thing will, and they'll feel embarrassed. And there's nothing to be embarrassed about struggling with mental health. I mean, pretty much everyone, I think, at, I think at some point will have some type of difficulty relating to that. And the only thing we can really do and the only thing I think we should do is encourage those people to discuss it and, depending on the case, to get help from a professional. But to make fun of someone's appearance, and let alone not just anyone, it's wrong with anyone, but especially someone who has been tortured by the media since her very young days, I just... I don't understand. I don't understand the point and it makes me angry because there is enough stigma there. We don't need to add that. And on top of that, sorry, but Brittany not looking her best that she's ever looked is a detail. We should be more concerned about her mental well-being, her overall well-being really. Her appearance should not be the thing that we're really commenting on here. And that goes for any person, any celebrity, anyone going through anything. I just, it angers me. I'll link an article down below detailing more about what she's been going through. But if you don't know, she's been stuck in a conservatorship since 2008 when she had her public mental breakdown where she ended up shaving her head and... You know, there were a lot of memes and a lot of people kind of laughed at it and she was mocked, which is another reason why this pisses me off so much because over a decade later, people still haven't really changed how they talk about her. And I think it's also the same people who are saying, oh, mental health is important. We have to have an open discussion about this. But then those same people turn around and comment on her appearance as if that's the most important thing. But anyway, she's been stuck under conservatorship. Both her father and her sister have basically had control over her money and basically her entire life, which I think is another reason why I get so frustrated. She's been going through and is going through so much already. So adding these shitty comments about her appearance, just, you know, you never know what's gonna be the drop that makes someone lose their entire shit. And I can't imagine being that in that position where people always feel so comfortable talking about how you look and what that means. So that's my rant. I'll leave links below about Free Britney articles, all that stuff if you want to look into it. I highly, highly recommend looking into it because it is super alarming. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and let's get right into the fan art.